that I don't have to risk my life, risk my freedom, or just risk my family's health mm -hmm. by not knowing, you know, when you in that game and, and you running around and ripping and running around, you don't know what type of energy you can bring to your home and to your family and your loved ones. When you're out here making moves and, and you know, trying to do what you got to do to get a little bit here, a little bit there, you don't know who you're pissing off in the street. Mm -hmm. You don't know who's watching. You just don't know. And after living your life that way for a long period of time, that's kind of all you know. So when you can get out here and get to trucking and literally have a peace of mind and really be able to think clear and, and, and literally make moves happen that you can literally see the growth from step to step and mm -hmm. stage to stage. I was like, yo, this is it right here. Yeah. Like, we, we in it. All the way in it. So, like, these last month, I'm just going to say a month to keep from saying 25, 26 days. But this last month or so was, was straight proof to us. Outside of, you know, we had to break down to Albuquerque. We was down about nine days. But being at the point that we are right now and being able to be down there. we were just starting to really build on our credit. No, we were still building, but we wasn't where we are now. Right. Then. So being able to be in Texas and, and, you know, getting a new truck and finding out, hey, you know, the, the tag's not going to be in today. It might be Monday. And this is Thursday when we're hearing <laughs> this. So it's like it might be Monday or Tuesday. And it's like, okay, well, so we got to bring 4th of July in down here. But. I didn't panic or flip mm -hmm. out or have no issues. Like, I don't have beef or issue with RST and, and having to do this situation the way it had to be done. They weren't in control of it like that. Mm -mm. You know, they were, they were dealing with it the way it was coming to them. But I didn't hold that against them. We wouldn't dare. That, that ain't it because RST has been very good to us. Yeah, they you know, have. We just celebrated. Shout out RST. For sure. Time. We just oh, celebrated a year with RST mm -hmm. um, after leaving Swift. And it's been good. It's, it's, been, it's been the greatest decision mm -hmm. we've made in the trucking really industry. Has. You know, Swift yeah. taught us what we needed to, to, to learn. learn. They taught us how to run and get out here and get it. But RST put us in, in position to take that drive and, 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 you know, that energy and turn it into bread. Mm -hmm. Because that's what we won't get. We was getting the experience and we was getting the knowledge and you need all of that. But getting to the point where we were at, at three year at a three year mark in the in the trucking industry, RST put us in position to get that money, mm -hmm. and me, that's the difference. Right. Let me piggyback on something else you said. Well, two things. How you respond to things things in life it really makes the difference. <laughs> and it. yeah, you can have an attitude, but what's the point? You know, hmm. you gotta pick your battles. Fact. You know, and I also believe that. Things happen in life for a reason. It could have not meant, been meant for us to be on the road. We could have been in an accident. Anything could have happened. I just feel like our creator, God, has reasons why he does things the way he do it. And maybe we needed more time off. Who knows? But yeah. we was happy to get it. Yeah. I mean, you know, I ain't mad about it. But we wanted to make some money. But it worked out. You know what I'm saying? And we didn't go in there with an attitude about it. Right. We just em embraced that this is what it is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, RST stepped in to give us everything we needed to make our stay and our days out of, you know, time that we had to be in Houston right. good. You know, they worked it out for us. Yeah. The other thing is LaShawn Pox and TB, they didn't talk directly to him. Like, mm. he wasn't in a situation where they was having phone calls and they was, and I didn't was know really him. mentoring him on that level. No, I didn't know him. He took the initiative to apply what he saw them doing and what they were saying. And that's huge, huge. That is huge. You know, I was just having a conversation about this. You can hear things. You can watch videos. You can see what people are doing all day. But if you don't really apply it to your life, it ain't going to work for you. Right. And he took those things and applied it. They had a formula that actually worked. Facts. And that makes the difference. Yeah. So I, I just wanted to piggyback off. Yeah, that. I, I agree 100%. So that's why, I, overall, you know, I guess the theme or the, the 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 message we want to convey is just, you know, put yourself in position. And this ain't got nothing to do with just trucking. Right. This is life in general. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't think life will be the same or life will be as we've known it to be in the past from this point on. With what we're dealing with right now, you know, 
I think I've seen something today. If, if this COVID situation and just what the world is dealing with right now is not bringing out the hustler in you, hmm. you can give it up. Because right now, this is the time for the hustle, man. Mm -hmm. This ain't the time to be sitting around waiting for handouts. This ain't the time to, for none of that. This is the time for you to literally find oh. your void, find your spot. I don't know what he saw or what he heard. Bro, check this out. Chip looking out the window over here. Over here. Mm -hmm. He sees something ain't going to run to the door that way. Chippy, cut it out, son. He hey. saw something. He seen what something is outside. It? What is cut it? Cut my wisdom, man. Cut it out. <laughs> Chippy. Cut it out. But yeah, man. Sorry about that, y'all. This this real there, life. There this real is, life. you know, there's also another saying that I've heard and I've always kept it with me that the 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 you wanna make okay, the great the greater the hardship, like the bigger the hardship that you're going through or the sacrifice that you make, the greater your outcome is. So it's like you may have to do some things that might be out of your character, not mm. bad, but I mean, it might be, I don't want to use the word character, but you may have to live in a way that you ain't used to living to get where you need to get. Right. Um, like you might have to downsize. You, you might, you might can't drive that car that you was used to driving. Right. You know, you might can't eat at that certain restaurant that you used to eating at and you might can't walk around with a pocket, pocket full of money and doing the things that you uh, like to do because if your money funny how you gonna get ahead yeah. you know what I'm saying you, need to be you okay have with to that. be able to discipline yourself to say okay what kind of sacrifices I'm gonna make in order to have the life I want to have later right you know we're doing we doing now for the future and just just this quick in these four years what we did in 2016 up until now benefit we're benefiting from that right this minute and we ain't done mm -mm. my Bob Done. We just getting started. Or stop. We just <laughs> we just getting started. Come on, man. You know, I know it's a lot of people that be like, well, money ain't everything. No, it ain't everything, but it solves a lot of problems. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing like having my family reach out to me or having things going on and being in a position, like mm -hmm. being in a position to say, I can help you. Right. And it's so rewarding to me because I'm going to tell you, it's times that my that our children have come to me and I didn't have $40 to get them. Nope. $20 to get them. And it saddened me. Because I know how much they needed it. And, and even though people see you doing things, they don't know your financial situation. Right. You know, the assumption you got a business or this, that, and the other is that you, you walk around with the cake. No. No. Right. Because, I mean. We're doing college wow. tuitions. Right. All that kind of stuff, man. Right. I mean, we we doing what adults and what parents supposed to do. But we're doing it younger. Yeah. And we didn't make a lot of decisions earlier that would have been in place for us at this time. Like a you lot of people saying? don't know our history. And, you know, I guess that could be another video. But, you know, you're looking at two people with uh, GEDs. Neither one of us graduated high school. You know, mm -hmm. so education has never been something that we could, quote unquote, hold our head on. Now, I mean, overall intelligence, of course. Right. But when it comes to documentation and being able to present something to someone to say, you know, hey, I'm at this level of thought. We didn't have that, mm -hmm. so all we had, all we could do is, mm -hmm. hope, hopefully, get a chance to put, you know, what we know on display, mm -hmm. and hopefully, the people right. that see it could appreciate it, and and, and you know, kind of give us a shot in that way. So right. that's kind of what we are right now. Trying to make it. Yeah, that's, that's a fact. It. So just being in this trucking thing, period, or just in life in general, right now, you know. Boss up attitude is is what's needed right now. You know, everybody. It's a lot of people out here not working. There's a lot of things going on that people are probably not even really talking about mm -hmm. that are really affecting people's day to day lives. Mm -hmm. So if 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 you got to get out here, man, and and go get it and grind to make sure you and your family is is all right, mm -hmm. do that. Sacrifice, man. It's you commendable can't, in this respect. Man, I've been looking at so many new Jordan this coming out like ever since this COVID stuff and they and they passing out that bread like oh man I feel like a, a new pair of Jordans is dropping every week now like you get on the gram and all you're seeing is the new this coming out like everything is coming out because they know people have access to money that they didn't work for for the most part 
So you already know it's, it's always easy to spend money that quote unquote ain't yours or that you didn't work for. I mean, you know, you just are given some type of bread. But you're you, always you, going to have the people that's you didn't put no sweat in for that. That's not that's in the unknowing. And right. that's why we do these videos. Yeah. So or my, and share our story, because for so many years, I wouldn't say we was in the unknowing. We just wasn't disciplined. That's a fact. We knew what to do. But it, you want what you want. And we even knew how to do it. We didn't, right. But a it lot just was times, the fact, like you said, being disciplined. It is being disciplined. Because mm -hmm. sometimes, sometimes I believe you can get so frustrated because you're not able and you are being disciplined that you just go out and splurge. I, I've done that. You know, I've done that. I've gotten so frustrated because I couldn't buy or get something that I wanted that I just kind of did what I wanted. I just was like, bump it. Right. I'm going to get this. Because I wanted it. Because I want, wanted it. You wanted to, you know, to, to, to and, fulfill that urge or please yourself in some kind of way. When you're taking L's, you will yeah. do anything for a quick W. <laughs> right, right. Even if that sucker don't last no time, you'll do anything just just to feel good for that moment. Because you've just been feeling bad or just, like I said, been taking L's, mm -hmm. that you will do anything for right. a W, man. Even, yeah. if it's small, even if it's just a small one. I think it was Dave Ramsey that says that an undisciplined person is like a kid. And that don't, that don't hit me. I was like, you're That's right. Real. That's You're real. right, because if you want something in life, it's going to take some sort of discipline. It's, it's going to take some sort of discipline. And that's where we're at right now, man. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. urge everyone out there to lock down, man. Mm -hmm. Look Focus at your life. Mm -hmm. and, and, and put yourself in a position and just apply that discipline, man, and, and give it time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not no quick fixes. There's nothing that can happen right. overnight. But give, give it time. And, and literally, give yourself a chance, man. Focus in. Like, you know what you struggle with. Mm -hmm. You know, every, we all have different areas. You know, mm -hmm. we all have different areas. And you got to you gotta really focus in on those areas and say, okay, uh, I'm going to work on this. You know what I'm saying? It might not happen overnight, like he said, but it's, it'll happen. Right. And, it, and baby steps, Facts. little progress is still progress. That's a fact. So, you know, we, we hoping that. People can take some from this, man. Take some from us. You know, we've been getting a lot of support since we've been out here, man. Yeah, we know we, we don't post a whole lot. And, um, you know, we might don't seem to be on the scene like that all the time. But there's quite a few people who reach out to us pretty consistently and gives us words of encouragement, man. And it really means a lot to everybody that's out there that, that ever sent a message our way or, mm -hmm. or just send any kind of positive love our way. We appreciate it, man. We mm -hmm. really do. We feel it, yep. and we're applying it, and mm -hmm. we think about it all the time because we know that there's people out here watching us. Like I said, we're, we've always been the underdogs. Oh, and yeah. I think, Definitely. for the most part, there's more underdogs out here than there are grandstanding mm -hmm. champions. You know, there's people mm -hmm. out here that's in the fight. More people out here that's in the fight than those that's sitting back. You right. know, and, and we represent the people that's out here in the fight, man.